Good evening, everyone. Um, thank you all for joining us for evening prayer. I'm Will, joined by Tomina for the last time tonight, unfortunately. But we're glad to all be together and praying online. Um, we'll start with the Confession of Sin, which is found on page 116 in the prayer book. Dearly beloved, we have come together in the presence of Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, to set forth his praise, to hear his holy word, and to ask for ourselves and on behalf of others those things that are necessary for our life and for our salvation. And so that we may prepare ourselves in heart and mind to worship him, let us kneel in silence and with penitent and obedient hearts confess our sins that we may obtain forgiveness by his infinite goodness and mercy. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The hymn, O Gracious Light, can be found on page S59. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light. We sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices. O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Our psalms appointed for tonight are Psalms 49 and 53. If you're following along in the prayer book, that starts on page 652. Hear this, all you peoples. Hearken, all you who dwell in the world, you of high decree and low, rich and poor all together. My mouth shall speak of wisdom, and my heart shall meditate on understanding. I will incline my ear to a proverb and set forth my riddle upon the harp. Why should I be afraid in evil days when the wickedness of those at my heels surrounds me? The wickedness of those who put their trust in their goods and boast of their great riches. We can never ransom ourselves or deliver to God the price of our life for the ransom of our life is so great that we should never have enough to pay for it. 
in order to live forever and ever and never see the grave. For we see that the wise die also, like the dull and stupid they perish, and leave their wealth to those who come after them. Their graves shall be their homes forever, their dwelling places from generation to generation, though they call the lands after their own names. Even though honored, they cannot live forever. They are like the beasts that perish. Such is the way of those who foolishly trust in themselves, and the end of those who delight in their own words. Like a flock of sheep, they are destined to die. Death is their shepherd. They go down straightway to the grave. Their form shall waste away, and the land of the dead shall be their home. But God will ransom my life. He will snatch me from the grasp of death. Do not be envious when some become rich or when the grandeur of their house increases, for they will carry nothing away at their death, nor will their grandeur follow them. Though they thought highly of themselves while they lived and were praised for their success, they shall join the company of their forebears who will never see the light again. Those who are honored but have no understanding are like the beasts that perish. Now, Psalm 53 on page 658. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. All are corrupt and commit abominable acts. There is none who does any good. God looks down from heaven upon us all to see if there is any who is wise, if there is one who seeks after God. Everyone has proved faithless, all alike have turned bad. There is none who does good, no, not one. Have they no knowledge, those evildoers, who eat up my people like bread and do not call upon God? See how greatly they tremble, such trembling as never was. For God has scattered the bones of the enemy. They are put to shame because God has rejected them. Oh, that Israel's deliverance would come out of Zion. When Jacob restores the fortunes of his people, Jacob will rejoice and Israel be glad. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our first reading comes from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord sent a word against Jacob, and it fell on Israel, and all the people knew it, Ephraim and the inhabitants of Samaria. But in pride and arrogance of heart they said, The bricks have fallen, but we will build with dressed stones. The sycamores have been cut down, but we will put cedars in their place. So the Lord raised adversaries against them and stirred up their enemies. The Arameans on the east and the Philistines on the west. And they devoured Israel with open mouth. For all this his anger has not turned away. His hand is stretched out still. The people did not turn to him who struck them or seek the Lord of hosts. So the Lord cut off from Israel head and tail, palm branch and reed in one day. Elders and dignitaries are the head, and the prophets who teach lies are the tail. For those who led this people led them astray, and those who were led by them were left in confusion. That is why the Lord did not have pity on their young people or compassion on their orphans and widows, for everyone was godless and an evildoer, and every mouth spoke folly. For all that his anger has not turned away, his hand is stretched out still. Here ends the reading. 
the Magnificat, the Song of Mary, can be found on page uh, S254. Lord, you who now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Well, obviously that was not the song of Mary, and I did not realize until I had already started singing it that was the song of Simeon. But that's okay. We'll sing the song of Mary after the next reading. As long as we get them both in. Our second reading comes from the Gospel according to Matthew. Who then is the faithful and wise slave whom his master has put in charge of his household to give the other slaves their allowance of food at the proper time? Blessed is that slave whom his master will find at work when he arrives. Truly, I tell you, he will put that one in charge of all his possessions. But if that wicked slave says to himself, my master is delayed, and he begins to beat his fellow slaves and eats and drinks with drunkards, the master of that slave will come on a day when he does not expect him and at an hour when he does not know. He will cut him in pieces and put him with the hypocrites where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Here ends the reading. And now we will really sing the song of Mary, found on page S242. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen.
The Apostles' Creed can be found on page 96. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful, we entreat you, O Lord that your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. We entreat you, O Lord. That we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. We entreat you, O Lord. That there may be peace to your church and to the whole world. We entreat you, O Lord. That we may depart this life in your faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. We entreat you, O Lord. That we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all your saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. We entreat you, O Lord. Stir up your power, O Lord and with great might come among us. And because we are sorely hindered by our sins, let your bountiful grace and mercy speedily help and deliver us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory, now and forever. Amen. Most holy God, the source of all good desires, all right judgments, and all just works. Give to us, your servants, that peace which the world cannot give, so that our minds may be fixed on the doing of your will, and that we, being delivered from the fear of all enemies, may live in peace and quietness through the mercies of Christ Jesus, our Savior. Amen. O God and Father of all, whom the whole heavens adore, let the whole earth adore you and worship you. All nations obey you. All tongues confess and bless you. All men and women everywhere love you and serve you in peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. For tonight's hymn, let's sing a good old Advent hymn. Um, I think it's number... 65 in the hymnal. It's called Prepare the Way of Zion. Let me make sure, just in case you're singing along from the hymnal. 65. Sorry, having some mic difficulties, but I think we're back in business.
Prepare the way, O Zion, your Christ is drawing near. Let every hill and valley a level way appear. Greet one who comes in glory, foretold in sacred story. O blessed is Christ who came in God's most holy name. He brings God's rule, O Zion. He comes from heaven above. His rule is peace and freedom, and justice, truth, and love. Lift high your praise resounding, for grace and joy abounding. No one who comes today in God's most holy name. Fling wide your gates, O Zion, your Savior's rule embrace, and tidings of salvation proclaim in every place. All lands will bow rejoicing, their adoration voicing. O oh, blessed is Christ who came in God's most holy name. O oh, blessed is Christ who came in God's most holy And now let's just allow a moment for our own personal intercessions. However you feel like praying tonight, just know that God's listening and that we're all praying together. I invite your prayers. Jesus, lover of souls, we thank you for this moment to pray together. Lord, wherever we may be in our wilderness tonight, whatever sorrows, whatever pains, whatever griefs we bear, whatever we lift up to you, whatever darkness we face in our life, Lord, we turn to you for light. Lord, be the light before us. Be the light in our hearts. Be the light that we see in all those others we encounter. Lord, remind us that there is light where there once was darkness. There is hope where there once was despair. There is healing where there once was pain. And that what is to come is better than what's been. God, for all these prayers that we lift up to you right now, we pray together, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Please join me in the prayer of St. Chrysostom, found on page 102. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore.
Amen. Well, it's always a joy to be able to pray with you all virtually uh, tonight. Um, stay warm out there. I know it's getting cold um, and keep praying. It counts. It's more important now um, than ever. Um, and a special thank you to Tamina for helping us out with evening prayer for so long. Um, it's been a joy praying with you as well every week. So you all take care and we'll see you next time. Be blessed.